Hello everyone and welcome to this course on implementing Windows Server 2019 high availability. Now, first of all, in this course we are going to discuss about the several uh, high availability options and solution which basically the Microsoft operating system Windows Server 2019 comes uh, with out of the box free of charge. It's there to use basically. But uh, before we get into uh, this uh, course introduction, let me first introduce myself. My name is Christian Kalnescu and uh, I've been working for the past years as a senior uh, infrastructure engineer for several customers. I've helped several customers to uh, build, implement and uh, manage uh, solutions, infrastructure solutions and uh, so on. I am a uh, Microsoft uh, certified uh, solutions associate on uh, different Windows Server products like uh, Windows Server 2012 R2, Windows Server 2016 for desktop products like uh, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. And I am also a uh, Microsoft certified uh, solutions expert on uh, cloud platform and infrastructure. On top of that, I am a Microsoft certified cybersecurity professional and a CompTIA certified security plus. Okay, let's uh, get on and see what we are going to learn in this course. So as an overview, we are going to discuss, as I said, about the several high availability options that Windows uh, Server 2019 offers out of the box. And when we talk about high availability, we are talking about um, the concept itself, uh, the need to have highly available services, instances, virtual machines, whatever you are hosting, regardless of what you're hosting, you will need high availability. So I've structured the course in, in sections, and um, basically I'm going to give you here an overview of what will learn from this course so in section one this is the the introduction section in which we are going to discuss about an overview of the high availability concept itself and uh, besides that i am going to show you and um, basically it's like a step-by-step -step guide to uh, building your own virtual lab environment so you can uh, follow along uh, with the demonstrations in this course now, in section two, we are going to discuss about Hyper-V high availability, and mainly we are going to implement uh, the several high availability solutions and disaster recovery solutions that we can find in Hyper-V. In uh, section four, actually I've included here three sections in this overview, because uh, this has all got to do with uh, failover clustering. But in a section, we are going to discuss about implementing uh, failover clustering in the next section uh, that comes up, we are going to discuss about uh, implementing storage spaces direct cluster. And this, I've added them here in one on our chart because uh, this, as I said, has all got to do with failover clustering. In the next section of failover clustering sections, we are going to have a section on uh, how to manage Hyper-V clusters, basically the clusters of hosts and uh, the virtual machine movement within those clusters and what options do we have. And last section in the course, we are going to discuss and demonstrate on how to implement NLB, and that is the Microsoft's uh, out-of-the-box solution for network load balancing. Now that we've seen what we are going to learn in this course, let's talk about what prerequisites you should uh, have before uh, taking the course. Now, you should be comfortable and have some basic knowledge about Windows Server operating systems. You should also have some basic knowledge about PowerShell and PowerShell remoting, as well as basic knowledge about storage and of course an uh, active uh, directory uh, domain infrastructure those are kind of all the prerequisites necessary in order to gain uh, some value from this course uh, itself as far as the goals go what would be the goals i'm going to keep it uh, short and simple here after completing this course 
I expect you to be very comfortable managing all of these solutions that we are going to discuss and demonstrate in the course and implementing all of these solutions from scratch regardless of the environment. That's it. You should be comfortable navigating through the several uh, options, settings, configurations, and so on. And that's what I expect from you after uh, finishing this course. Of course, there is another side to this course because uh, all that we are going to talk about here basically is an actual topic part of some uh, part of the topics that are required for example for the microsoft certified solutions associate um, certification on uh, windows server okay that being said let's uh, begin our course i hope you'll join me uh, throughout this uh, great course and uh, let's do it